All right, so a little birdie told me that you all want a list of businesses that run themselves. And so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go through a full on list of different businesses that will run themselves so that you ain't got to run it yourself. But let me just preference this with a bit of a disclaimer. Any business that you start is going to require you to put in some time, some effort, and also possibly some cash in order for you to get started. So I don't want you to go through this list thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to start this and then I'm going to just go sit on a beach somewhere and not ever have to ever 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 have to do anything no okay what these businesses i what these business ideas will actually give you though is the freedom to be able to go to that beach pay for it and complete and hire other individuals that can help you run it so i wanted to make sure i preference that because i feel like a lot of people just think oh okay well if i start a digital product business or whatever i can just go ahead and you know just go sit down and i ain't got to do not absolutely nothing no as a business owner you then are responsible for a lot of other things okay so now that we got that little disclaimer out the way let's go ahead and hit you with some of these ideas okay Okay, and make sure you go ahead. The number one idea is absolutely, let me tell you, it's the one right there. That one is the one. Okay, it's the way that I've been able to be able to sit at home and make these videos for you guys because now I've been through every freaking idea that you can think of ways to monetize. And this one is the one that I absolutely love and it's the easiest for me to do. So let's go ahead and get into it. Businesses that run themselves, part one, because I got a part two coming up that's all about the AI. So go ahead and watch that video because that video is going to be released at the same time as this one because we all about these series. Okay? Okay, that Risa Tisa didn't do that for nothing. She showed us the series or the thing that y'all want, and we're gonna give it to you. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and start with number eight. And this is one that we hear all the time. I know I said seven, but we're gonna give you a bonus of number eight. And this one, like I said, everybody kind of knows about this one. It is SaaS tools. So software as a service with a SaaS tool, once again, it is a business that can run itself. However, it will require maintenance. And with a SaaS tool, what you'll end up doing is creating some type of tool that will help people do something. So if you think of SaaS tools such as like Opius Clips, Opius Clips is a, a SaaS tool. That you can take your videos, put in a link, and it will go automatically cut up the videos for you. That is a SaaS tool. There isn't someone that is physically going and cutting up those videos. The AI is doing it for you. However, there are people on the back end that got to make sure that AI is on this job all the time, right? You got to have customer service, responses all that good stuff so SaaS tools are number eight and they are the bonus on this i had to i could not do this video and not put in SaaS tools i just it, my spirit just wouldn't allow it it was like yeah no you're not finna you're not finna act like SaaS tools are not one of them because SaaS tools are absolutely one of them so SaaS tool is number eight a number seven is oh this one is so good lead generation sites so this is something that i toyed around with a couple of years ago you can have a wix site it really doesn't matter who's hosting in a, the platform for you or what platform you put it on but what you're doing is you create a blog around a particular niche or topic and then as leads come in people kind of sign up for either an email list or sign up to get updated on different discounts and things that are the fact you see this a lot with a lot of couponing sites what they'll do is they will put together you know they'll do a lot of seo on the back end and they'll say something like get coupons sent to you monthly and then you'll sign up oh yeah i want coupons sent to me monthly right and they'll also have blog posts on different ways to use coupons how to get coupons coupon codes things to that effect you'll sign up for it and now you are creating a lead generation site now with the lead generation site the way that you usually would monetize this is you would sell those leads to different folks that are looking for that particular niche and audience. Usually women are mom, stay at home moms. You can also create the site and, and gain, garner ar organic traffic and generate leads for businesses. You can monetize it through affiliate programs, advertising, and once again, you can sell it to companies that are looking to reach this particular audience. It's really great does require a little bit of work at, in the front end and it does require maintenance. Majority of all of these different ideas do require maintenance. You do have to go in, either add new blog posts, but a majority of the stuff can be automated as well. So really it's just about you sitting down, planning your time wisely and it require very little 
of your time to get started. So that's number seven. All right, number six is digital real estate. Now with digital real estate, what you do is you buy and sell domain names, websites, or online businesses with strategic acquisition and improvements, right? So you can build a portfolio of digital assets that generate passive income through sales or advertising revenue. So when we think of utilizing digital real estate, I have digital real estate in different Facebook groups that I have and different Facebook pages that I have. So if someone reaches out and say, says, hey, I wanna buy your Facebook page because I'm starting a business on this, you can actually sell it to them. You can take it and go, okay, cool. How much you want to pay for that, right? And where we also see digital real estate popping up is where folks go and they create these niche-based Instagram pages, niche-based Facebook pages, and they're based upon one niche and then they will put it out there on different websites. There's a couple of different websites that I can't think of off the top of my head where you can sell social media platforms, right? You can sell the actual page to someone. So it's a lot of faceless accounts. So people will build up a faceless account to like 5,000, 10,000 followers and then go, hey, I got a faceless page for sale for $1,000 who wants it. And then you purchase it and you already have a built in audience there. So that is digital real estate. It is more than just websites and domains. It, it, it can also be social media real estate, right? Like once again, for example, a Facebook page, Facebook group, a Instagram page, a TikTok page, so on and so forth. All right, number number five, digital event ticketing. So with digital event ticketing, what you would do is you would create a site that sells different events. I thought about doing this several years ago. The majority of these actually have, have either tried to start or have at least thought about starting. With a digital event ticketing site, the big thing about it is you have to go out and find folks who actually want to list their events on your website, right? And you also have to know the back end and code in order to make sure you create tickets that look great. My idea was really about just having like a place where women can find women led events because I found that it was really difficult to try to figure out what events were happening, what webinars were going on that I could attend, things that I'd affect. So I wanted to have a place where everybody could just come and list their event didn't work out as well as I thought it would because I then had to speak to all these people. I was doing a lot of, you know, back and forth and then event organizers. It's a lot of management. Let's just say that there's a lot of management involved. And in the end, I was like, I, it, it's not worth it for me. So I cut out of that business, but it may be something that you can try. And you don't, like I said, you don't need a massive WordPress website. You can do it on WordPress, but this can work on Squarespace. It can work on, Word, on Wix, really any platform that you can build a website on have the back end kind of generate for you different ticketing, different ways for you to charge for folks to list there. Yes, even a Mighty Networks will work for you as well, right? We are on number four. So number four is affiliate blogs, automated affiliate blogs. Now with automated affiliate blogs, I'm just going to look at my notes here. What you're doing is, there it is. What you're doing is building a niche-based affiliate blog that generates passive income through affiliate marketing. So you're utilizing SEO strategies to attract an organic audience and monetize traffic through affiliate links and advertising. If you don't know exactly what I just said, it means that you're selling something on your website and people are coming there to learn a little bit more about something that's related to the problem that the thing you offer solves. So let's say you are an affiliate of, let me think of one of the ones I'm affiliate of. You are an affiliate of Target. Okay. So Target has a creator program right now. They're, it's really huge. A lot of people are talking about it. What's interesting and what I've noticed though with the Target affiliate program or the Target creator, it's a Target creator program, but in essence, it's affiliate services. I don't see nobody making money. That's the reason why I personally, I'm like, let's, cause I, I see people say, yeah, I got accepted. I don't see anybody saying, yeah, I'm making money. I don't know. If you're a Target creator, please go ahead and comment down below. And let me know if you're making money from it, but you can be an affiliate of Target and sell different products that they have and create a website that's like Target on the go or Target for home, let's say something like that. And then you have, you know, blankets and then you do a blog post around blankets. And 
What makes this automated is that you would actually connect it to either ChatGPT or some software that's similar to ChatGPT and have the ChatGPT create the blog post for you in that niche. And you would literally just go and post them. Now, where you would need to be careful is that with a lot of AI content, sometimes Google doesn't index it, meaning Google doesn't push it out there in front of people because it is AI content and it can be duplicated in different ways. So just be very careful about the automated ways that you're doing this or really go in and make sure that ChatGPT understands the different requirements you need in each blog post to make sure it's unique and different every time it's generated, okay? So that is automated affiliate blog post. What you would do is just put a link to the blanket, link to the pillow, link to, I'm trying to think of what else is home, the lamp, right? Things to that effect. And then you earn an affiliate commission from Target whenever they hop on over to Target's website and purchase from your link. All right. So number three is drop servicing. Just So drop servicing is where you are actually going to have a, instead of it drop shipping, your drop servicing, where you bring in the traffic, you go out there and market to people and tell people, I have a designer, I can create you a website, I can do copywriting for your for your website or do copywriting, write, write blog posts, right? So you can do a lot of those things, but you aren't the person actually doing it. What you're doing is hiring someone off like Upwork or Fiverr to actually deliver the services for you. So you're just the middleman. You go and you find people that need the service, you then match them up with folks that will do the service, you take a fee off the top and then you pay the person that does the service. So that is drop servicing. You are maybe the face, maybe the brand, you are the marketing individual, but you're not actually doing the servicing itself in and of itself. So that's how the business can run itself, right? You have someone else that's actually delivering it. Something I've also tried with our video editing services, I've had different VAs that I've had on the back end where I'm doing more of the management pieces of it. They're actually editing the videos. I'm going and finding people that need videos edited, and then we deliver to the client, right? So that is drop servicing. So then we are, that was number three. We're on number two, which is design and sell printable templates. Ooh, this is a good, good, good one. Designing and selling printable templates has been the number one way that I have made and generated income with my faceless content, as well as on different platforms such as Etsy and Amazon. Those are two major platforms that I've been able to sell on and really see a return in, on investment. Designing different templates, I just use Canva. You can literally create a template in Canva. I actually just train someone on, or train someone. I coach someone through this and I hate to use the word coach because I don't consider myself a coach, okay? I'm a digital strategist, totally different thing. But I sat down with this individual and walked them through how to create the template on Canva for their particular business, how to put it up on Etsy and on the Gumroad because you also want to sell on your own website. You don't only want to sell on Etsy. Make sure you're also selling on your own website, even if it's a Gumroad or a Squarespace, have your own website that you're selling from as well because Etsy fees are high. Ha, Etsy fees will get you every time. And they want you to pay for ads as well for your content to kind of get in front of the right people. In order for you to make money, you got to invest in ads on Etsy. Okay, so just a little tip there for you. So designing and selling printable templates is another business that can pretty much run itself. Now that one there, you can literally sell the template two times, three times, 200 times. And it's the same template over and over again, where you start to have some more of the hands-on and, you know, it's, it's customer service. You do need to make sure that your customer service is tight. You have a way for folks to either email you or to hit up a, a Facebook messenger or some way that they can contact you if they can't get the download. You know, if you have an older customer that's like, no, what button to push, baby? You got to be able to, okay, ma'am, let me walk you through exactly how this all works because some people will purchase it, but don't know how to use it. So that's where a lot of the heavy lifting comes in. And my number one way to make money with a business that runs itself something, I do the, I do number two, I do number three, and I do the, this one number one to this day. So with content monetization, we're thinking, you know, we're talking about the YouTubes, right? Having a YouTube channel, having an Instagram presence. Necessar I don't necessarily use Instagram for their monetization features. I more or less use Instagram for the platform and the distribution, and then on I monetize on the back end by having my own website, as I mentioned before, or having people go to my link in bio and purchase a digital download, right? So it's a mixture of a couple of the different things that we mentioned here. 
But I can tell you on YouTube, monetize, on Facebook, monetize, on TikTok, monetize. I look at ways that I can utilize the content so for the thing I was going to do anyway. I, I got to promote myself anyway. I got to make the videos anyway, but I get paid to do them, right? So you get paid for your time. Now, it might take you a minute to get paid. That's the kicker on this, right? That's the caveat to this. It may take you a minute for you to actually see the ROI, but what's so great about content is that there is an ROI. Even if you need to go a different direction, you're going to get an ROI. You're going to learn something from this whole thing in content creation, right? And sometimes it also exposes things about yourself that you didn't even know. Sometimes it'll allow you to connect with and relate to people that are nowhere near where you live, right? I have clients that are in Canada, the UK, places I ain't never been, okay? And they've come to me and found me through my content. So number one is content monetization. If you do none of these other things, know that you can have a business that runs itself and YouTube is a business. Don't let nobody tell you any different. Content creation is a business that it runs on its own. So this is part one of businesses that run on their own. Hope you found this useful, helpful, all the good things. Have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section and let me know which one of these are you going to try, okay? We have all, what is it, eight of them, right? Is it going to be any of these eight? I'm not gonna even go down the list again, but is it gonna be any of these eight? But I will put that list down in the description if you guys wanna grab it. So know that that's there. That is it. Part one of businesses that run themselves. Go ahead and stick around for part two. I'll actually go ahead and link to part two here so you can take a look at part two. But let me know which one of these business ideas you are going to try or you have tried and how it's actually gone for you. And if you'd like a separate follow up video and have any questions, go ahead and leave that down in the description. I'm pretty good about responding with another video and answering your guy, you guys' questions. You can also, if you need one on one help, or if you have a question you want directed to me and you want to answer sooner rather than later, because it takes me a minute to get these videos out, go ahead and hit the link in my bio on Instagram or DM me on Instagram. I have where you can request direct feedback or a direct response. It's literally like a couple of bucks. So go ahead and hit the link in my bio on Instagram or on TikTok. It's on, it's on both places and request a request some feedback or send a request. I think that's what I put it under, send a request. And send a request to me if you have a question and you want that question answered immediately. My name is Jessica. I go by Y'all Speak Digital. This has been Businesses That Run Themselves, part one. Go ahead and watch part two and go ahead and start a business that runs itself. Y'all Speak Digital.